I thought I'd show off my bottle palm here, even though uh, part of it's being overgrown by uh, some vines here. But this is a Hyophorbia genicalis, meaning uh, uh, bottle shaped, I guess, the uh, species Latin. And I've had this probably about 14 years in the ground in Vero Beach and uh, Zone 9B, probably about four or so miles from the uh, maritime influence of the Indian River and the, and the coast, the ocean. So, um, done quite well. And sometimes these things are awkward in their shape. They don't grow really well. They get weird and twisty and they look like something out of the background of the Flintstones. Uh, but this one's done well. I think I gave it the right, right balance of light and shade. I think that's kind of important for these. Uh, and I'd say that the spindle palm is probably the more successful of the three uh, species in the, in the genus, uh, followed by the bottle palm. I've tried growing the indicas, the, the champagne, but the, uh, the spindle, the Verschafeltii, seems to be the easiest and, and most uh, liable to grow here. But this bottle is a close second. Uh, and is distinguished mostly by the just the fatter, rounder trunk on it, and a little bit in the crown shaft uh, can be discerned from the spindle palm. But sometimes when you're driving down the road, it's hard to tell if, if it's a malformed spindle or if it's a, a well-grown uh, bottle palm. But anyway, this is the uh, Hyophorbia legenicalis bottle palm. I wouldn't say it's 100% insurable for the Treasure Coast. Uh, you know, the, the cooler parts, the inland parts, but you can get a few years out of them. Like I said, this thing's at least 14, 15 years in my yard. Uh, has done quite well. Has resisted the uh, being killed by, by a number of frosts that we've had here. So it's, it's a, a good stout palm.